Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Calibration Academy. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos related to control valves, you can find link in the description box to watch these videos. And if you have not subscribed our channel yet, then please subscribe our channel, and press bell icon to get notifications, when we post video on the channel. In today's video, you will learn about top 7 tricky and difficult interview questions and answers on control valve. So, please watch this video till the end. First of all, let's start with one of the important interview question, which is, what is your understanding of the principles of control valve operation, and how do you ensure accurate control? Correct answer is, control valves work by regulating the flow of fluid through a process. And they typically have an actuator and control system that allows them to adjust the flow rate based on feedback from sensors or other sources. And to ensure accurate control, it's important to select the appropriate valve type, size, and trim, and to calibrate the valve regularly to ensure it is operating within the desired parameters. Second question is, what experience do you have in selecting and sizing control valves for various applications? If you have prior experience on control valve, then your answer should be, in my previous role, I was responsible for selecting and sizing control valves for a variety of applications in the chemical and petrochemical industries. I used a range of tools and methods, including flow calculations, pressure drop analysis, and CV calculations to ensure that the valves I selected met the required specifications. Third question is, how do you handle situations where the control valve is not providing the desired level of control or is not operating properly? Correct answer would be, in such situations, I would begin by identifying the root cause of the problem. This might involve inspecting the valve and its components, checking the control system and feedback loops, and verifying that the valve is properly calibrated. Once the root cause is identified, I would take appropriate corrective actions, such as adjusting the valve trim, replacing damaged components, or recalibrating the valve. Fourth question is, how do you ensure that control valves are installed and maintained correctly? Your answer should be in this form, proper installation and maintenance of control valves are critical to ensuring their long-term performance and reliability. To ensure correct installation, I would review the manufacturer's installation guidelines and ensure that the valve is installed according to industry standards and best practices. In addition to this, regular maintenance, such as cleaning and lubricating the valve, replacing worn components, and calibrating the valve, would also be a key part of ensuring proper operation. Fifth question is, what is your experience in selecting and integrating control valve accessories, such as positioners and actuators? If you are an experienced candidate, then your answer should be in this form. In my previous role, I worked with a variety of control valve accessories, including positioners, actuators, and other control system components. And I have experience in selecting and integrating these accessories to ensure they are compatible with the valve and the overall control system, and that they provide the desired level of performance and control accuracy. Sixth question is, what is your experience in working with different types of control valve materials, such as stainless steel, exotic alloys, and plastics? If you are an experienced candidate, then your answer would be, in my previous roles, I have worked with a range of control valve materials, including stainless steel, exotic alloys, and plastics. And I understand the properties and limitations of these materials, and I am able to select the appropriate material based on the specific requirements of the application, such as corrosion resistance, pressure and temperature ratings, and compatibility with the process fluid. Seventh question is, can you give an example of a challenging control valve application you have worked on, and how you resolve the issues? If you are an experienced candidate, then your answer would be, in my current job, I faced one challenging application. We needed to control the flow rate of a highly viscous and abrasive fluid that was prone to clogging and buildup in the valve trim. We addressed this by selecting a valve with a specialized trim design that included flow restrictors and anti-cavitation features, and by incorporating a filtration and flushing system into the valve installation to prevent buildup and blockages. Through careful selection and customization of the valve and its components, we were able to achieve the desired level of control and prevent downtime and maintenance issues caused by valve clogging and buildup. 
Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this interview questions and answers. Please give us your valuable feedback in comment box. And if you have any questions about this video, then please feel free to ask me your questions in comment box. And please like and share this video with your friends if you think our content is informative for you and others.